Do you know why you need a buyer's agent? On today's episode, we're going to talk about the important role that your buyer agent plays and how they can be crucial to your success. Welcome to the Homeowner Prep Podcast, where every week we educate and encourage aspiring homeowners to help them buy their first home faster. If you aspire to own a home, you're in the right place, so enjoy. Do us a favor and leave a review, a rating, and be sure to subscribe. Now let's get to this week's episode. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Homeowner Prep Podcast. I'm your host, Eric Halan, and on today's episode, we're going to talk about the important role that your buyer agent plays in your success as a first-time home buyer. Now, you may not know this, but there's been some recent lawsuits that have come about, and they're kind of questioning the important role that a buyer agent plays in your ability to buy your first home and for any subsequent purchases after that. So I want to really dive into some of the roles and responsibilities of a buyer agent and why they're so important and necessary in your home buying process. The first thing to understand is that your buyer agent is the leading expert in your community. Whenever you find an agent or you interview multiple agents, you want to know who knows your community best. Definitely connect with an agent who understands the local environment, businesses, schools, and all of the above because they're going to help you buy your first home. The second thing to understand is that your buyer agent is going to set up your home for you. They're the ones who should be finding homes that fit your search criteria. Once you get pre-approved by a lender, you should be working with your agent to find homes that fit your exact criteria. Maybe you don't get everything that's on your list of all the things that you want in your first home because maybe you need to wait until you buy a second home or your dream home. But a lot of those wants that are on your list need to be checked off and they need to be in a search criteria that your agent sets up for you. So you should be getting those emails, some type of communication from your agent on an ongoing basis, sending you homes that you should want to see in person. Now, I know today there's a lot of websites that are out there that give you some information about homes that are available on the market, but oftentimes that information can be incorrect. So you definitely want to work with your agent to make sure that you're getting the most up-to-date information. So if a home goes pending, you know about it right away. If there's a home that comes on the market or just came on, you want to know about it right away. That's how you're going to win in any market that you're in. The third thing to understand is that your buyer's agent is actually paid by the listing agent who's paid by the seller. So you shouldn't be paying for a buyer agent. Now, this is one thing that may change in the future, but as of right now, your buyer agent gets paid ultimately by the seller. So put them to work. You may not be paying them, but they are getting paid to help you. So definitely utilize them. Make sure that they're sending you homes. Make sure that they're providing you with the information that you need in order to make an informed decision. And once you go into escrow, they really need to step up and help you negotiate, help you deal with any inspections or any negotiations that have to take place after inspections. They should really be working on your behalf. Just because that money for your agent's commission is not coming out of your pocket directly, doesn't mean that you should take it easy on them or try to figure things out along the way on your own. Put them to work, let them help you and show them the different questions or the different scenarios that you have that you need explanation on. It's okay to come to them with any of your questions. You want to understand the home buying process from beginning to end. I always tell my clients, by the time we get done with this, I want you to be an expert so you can help somebody else. So get those questions answered, understand the process, fully and don't be afraid to put your agent to work. Ultimately, a buyer's agent is vital in representing you and your concerns. You don't want to deal directly with the seller or their agent who is looking after themselves. You want somebody who's there to represent you, somebody who's going to negotiate on your behalf and take interest in the things that you need most. So definitely get a buyer's agent. If you don't know an agent in your area, feel free to reach out to us. We can connect you with somebody, but utilize their services. It's going to help you understand the process. It's going to help the process be less stressful for you. And ultimately, you're going to be a better homeowner because you fully understand the process of buying a home and your agent was there with you every step of the way. If you need help in getting started in the home buying process, definitely don't hesitate to reach out to us. That's what we're here for. You can text the word START to 619-848-3700 or you can reach us on our website at homeownerprep.com forward slash start. From there, you can set up an initial consultation. Or like I said, if you need an agent who's there in your neighborhood, we can connect you with an experienced agent. 
If you just have a question or a scenario that you want to run by us, feel free to reach out to us on any of the social media platforms. We tend to get the majority of our questions on our Instagram account, so you can reach us at Homeowner Prep. I hope you got some value from today's episode and understanding the important role that your buyer agent plays in your process of becoming a homeowner. I look forward to providing you with some more great content on the next episode. And until then, be blessed. If you've enjoyed this show and got some great value from it, please be sure to rate and review. And if you're checking it out on YouTube, please be sure to subscribe. That really does help us to continue the show and bring in some great guests to help you on your home buying journey.